I believe in I believe in you too. There goes stars. <laughs> there goes Watchma. Off All at right. the same time here. And uh looks like uh a double here. That's very huge for Watchma. Opens up column six a little bit more. Uh and it looks like that's where he's shooting to uh clear out so he can get access to everything else. Playing a little dangerously though. Yeah, but he's also in an interesting spot where he has no viruses. Column five. Uh so now both five and four are completely empty. That's uh first of all gonna make it troubling because uh he can't make combos across those columns. But also he's a little bit colorbound with only three yellow viruses left, mostly red and blue hanging around. And now down to three blue viruses as well. Uh taking a look at Darza's board here, uh he's about to drop a nice little triple step combo. And he is down to nine viruses, holding the virus lead right now. And he'll take another triple, and he will uh, have setups cleared for or clear setup for uh, a lot of things here. Gets that sweet tea, uh, and then tucks underneath for the lightning bolt. Mario fans, and out at a blazing one oh nine. Excellent time for Dars. Yeah. Wow. Meanwhile, uh, Watchma finishing off the last little bit. Um, looks like the right hand side of his board is going to be the thing that he's. Uh, most dealing with and like as we said you know with um oh look at that little combo to get rid of some garbage from watchma um with the with the uh the split there it was tough to make combos uh, across them and so you definitely see the edges being last uh but he has made it out of level six and into level seven he is about a dozen viruses or so behind but easily uh mends that margin with a uh, one pill triple and he's going to drop this garbage and yellow down uh, to but set up for a little bit blue? more fun. No blue to speak of here though. Um, Dar's down to 16 viruses uh, looking to get that uh, bottom cleared out and uh, looking to go for, set up for some doubles here. He's got to be careful with his pill placement moving forward. He could really shut something down. A nice tuck lightning bolt triple. Awesome. And we're going to see that he is uh, now down to the opposite of Dar of uh, Watchma's situation, where he has only blue. Um, so this is always a frustrating spot to be in because uh, you just there's just nothing you can do about it, really. You just have to wait. But uh, is. Watchma finishing off the last little bit of his level, de-sandwiching a little bit of garbage that uh, came from a slight... Uh, miss drop there at the bottom, and actually board looking a little bit strange. Uh, gonna be tough to clear things out in uh, in a in a good clean way. So that's going to cost him a little bit of time. Yeah, it is a funky board. Dars was out at a two fifty three, so a very good pace right now. Uh, Dars's PB in six to nine is. Uh, a 619, so uh, looking to be at uh, or uh, ahead of PV pace. Wow. That is so cool. And looks like uh, aiming for clearing out the stuff at the uh, bottom of his board just because the top of his board dominated by yellow and not being given yellow pills. But you'll see that uh, to the extent he can, using those yellow pills to make progress on the right. Watchma uh, is making his way through level 8. Looks like a pretty nice board for him at the moment. Uh, it is a little bit yellow bound at the top, but he'll be opening things up very quickly, I would say. Uh, coming down to the, the middle of his board is now completely open and uh, making good progress. Meanwhile, Dar is down to five viruses to go, really just having to manage that corner, uh, looking like he'll choose to go potentially horizontal with the uh, yellow. Uh, actually, doesn't look like it now that he's uh, tucked that pill in, uh, but he's going to get a very fortunate double blue and may have that horizontal play yet still. Uh, and the double yellow is the cherry on top as he's out at a 431. It's a great time. Watch my waiting for a billion red. Uh, getting a couple clears here and there uh, on miscellaneous other non-red viruses, but that's really the thing that he's watching for at the moment. He's smartly electing to take that clear in the lower right corner uh, and then save the double in a fat log to boot. 
Very nice, but uh, just not good enough with the way that Dars is playing here. He's just made some excellent combos to start off his level 9, and he's, uh, like, almost halfway through it already by the time Watchma even... So this is looking like a, a big advantage for Dars at the moment. Dar is playing very well, almost out of his mind here, uh, as he's at five and a half minutes, uh, and you can see him shaking his head. He didn't have a play for that red-blue, uh, so he has to tuck it down in column one. Uh, we'll see what he decides to do, looking as though he's going to have to clear this cluster of uh, blue and red uh, towards the top of his board here. Yep, he's definitely in a little bit of a pickle, and... Uh... Watchma is using that fact to stage a comeback. His board, a little bit of garbage at the top, um, but he will be cleaning that up before too long and has brought the deficit down to just two viruses. Oh my goodness, this comeback from Watchma, crazy. Dars is just not getting the blue help he needs, uh, and when he is getting it, it's to clear out garbage. So he is down to 14, but it is 19 here, both just very wild boards here as we get into the final stretch here of game number one in this best of three. The third seeded Dars, the 14th seeded Watchma, two extremely good players, and we're starting to see them uh, get out of this pickle. Uh, it's looking, though, that uh, Watchma is slowly catching up. Watchma is continuing to deal with uh, the garbage situation that started off the uh started off the level and uh he is slowly making progress on that but it's been uh, a little bit of a slog the whole way um, and now he's continuing to use to have that uh four virus advantage that he whittled things down to just a little bit ago uh but uh dars is going to be finishing off level nine very quickly here just as soon as he gets a little bit more blue he would love a double blue, and he's going to get a double blue. Wow. A uh, bit of a disastrous nine, but still taking the win at a 7-15. So that is game one to Dars. Watchman just going to be finishing out uh, the last little bit of his level. Almost nothing left to go, so makes complete sense to me. Looks like he's I'm going a little... to be horizontal on the blue so that he can reuse the little bit of blue that he dropped down there. And he's out at a 748. So Dar is taking game one here, uh, looking to get to uh, the second round here. Uh, this is his first top 16, or excuse me, this is his uh, third entry into the top 16. Uh, he is looking to get back to the second round. Uh, lost to Ibar back in May, uh, two nothing. Uh, so uh, already an improvement from his last bracket performance. Well, it looks like uh, both of our players once again signed up to have a quick speed run race. Levels six to nine, since we're in round one. We've got our countdown coming down, 3, 2, 1, and they are allowed to go at any moment. They may go now. It's all up to them. Or, or they may go later. We'll see. They may go at like the same time. About the same moment. Great coordination by them, and uh, we can thank, uh, thank Twitch for having a uh, consistent amount of latency, whatever that is. Looks like, uh, at the moment, I definitely favor Dar's board. It's, uh, it's just so much cleaner. Um, Watchma already in a sort of complicated situation. Not bad, just complicated. And one of the problems with complicated is it's, uh, it's very easy to lose track of all of the things that are going on and uh, make a mistake and turn that complicated thing into something bad. So turns out uh, he managed to hold on to that uh, the whole time, and he's down to a very nice clean board once again. A few viruses behind as uh, Dar is making some great efficient clears at the bottom of his board. Dar's has every has access to everything as he both players actually in uh, red blue or sorry yellow blue left to go. 
Uh, it looks like maybe Dar is looking to be a little fancy here, hoping for a double blue. Didn't get it. Uh, but now he'll get it a couple of pills later. But he's still out at a minute 17. Excellent level six time. For sure. And uh, Watchma just finishing off the last little bit of his yellow. He'll be out before too long. But look at this combo uh, from Dars. Gets a nice T clear with no fall time. Very nice. That's uh, one of the prices of most T's is to suffer a little bit of fall time. But he negated that by getting a double pill. Very smart strategy. And every, uh, every row of drop time is about a quarter of a second. So uh, oh, those can add up over time. Bars, unfortunate. Um, but since at the moment, I would say the main problem for Dars is, uh, is the red that he's dealing with. It's okay to have a little bit of uh, blue and yellow garbage. Obviously not ideal, but that is the situation he's dealing with. Meanwhile, uh, Watchma has uh, brought things back and has a slight virus advantage at the moment with a nice combo to get uh, his blue and red lined up. Dar is looking to set up a drop cross here, and he's going to get it. Uh, and now has a triple he can play with as well. And he is going to get that, dropping that blue down, getting the uh, red cleared as well. Really, the only problem I'm seeing here is that red in column three, although now he's dropped some garbage down, so he has a free shot at that horizontally. Yeah, I actually think the tower on the right may be a for him, as, uh, as he's going to have to get certain colors in a certain order to finish things off, and you can see he has to essentially waste that double blue, a very valuable kind of pill to get, but he does get things about in the right order, out in a seven, and... Uh, just about uh, no virus difference at the moment. Very close game. Watch my players. Very little blue on the top of his board, and suffering a little bit of fall time as he tries to line up uh, his blue pills with a blue virus. Meanwhile, Watchma uh, has a uh, is working on lowering that overall top line. Doesn't have a lot of access to yellow. He's going to have to dig a few rows down to get to it. Uh, which is why you see that yellow garbage uh, kind of kicking around in the middle of his board. He's really got nowhere else to play it, so you want to set up so you can at least get something cleared off the board, and it looks like that's what he's doing. It's very nice, but uh, Dar's dealing with all of the blue on his board. Uh, just everything needs blue, and uh, it's tough. You just got to do what you can in these situations. Absolutely. And it is 14 to 14 here. These players neck and neck. Watchma trying to force a game three. Dar's trying to put this away. And both players just playing incredibly intelligent combos right now. Uh, you're seeing Watchma uh, set up over there on that right side, getting that horizontal clear. Uh, and now another horizontal clear. He's going to have a bit of a tricky situation for that red in the corner. But that actual that actually changes everything when you get a double red like that. For so sure. and it looks like it looks like he's also electing to go horizontal on that red over in column eight. Yep. So it just needs a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. He gets them. He's at a level Not eight or fifty. Definitely a little bit of ahead as Dar's continuing to wait for a million blue pieces. Now in doing some slightly strange setups, I would say. Not sure exactly what the uh plan is for the blue virus on the left but maybe that's uh aiming at a horizontal or an underclear or something he's going to uh do a little tuck there and just needs one more blue pill half to finish off he'll be out at a 525 so definitely a little bit behind um meanwhile uh watch my getting started on his level nine and there's a bunch of places where he would like to make clears horizontally but has to open up some space before he uh, has the ability to do that. And look at this combo. A nice T in the middle of his board. And uh, lining things up for more combos on the left to deal with the multiple columns of red only. Twenty-six to go, or 25 now to go for uh, Dars. 18 for Watchma. 
watch uh, looking to try to eliminate that red staircase that's blocking most of his left side. Uh, Dars is having a bit of a tower on that uh, left on the right side of his board. So, uh, and now a lot of yellow uh, that Dars is going to need to manage through here. Uh, but he's going to get a nice drop combo here. He's down to 15 here, 13 to go for Watchma. And again, it's looking dim with that. Uh, it's going to be a lot of red helps going to be required here for Dars. Uh, for Watchma, right? Oh, maybe both, huh? Yeah. yeah could be. Yep. Uh, but uh, they are neck and neck coming down to the last eight viruses, the last 10 viruses for the two. So a very slight differential. Um we're going to see uh, Watchma finishing off the blue on his board right away and just needs to finish off the red virus in the bottom left while Dars uh, still has a few to go. And Dars is going to be out at a 7-10, which means we are going to go to a third game here, folks. Uh, a very solid run by Watchma as it is game two. Or Watchmen. <laughs> you know, I should probably have finished that statement. <laughs> uh, oh, 737 for Dars as a finishing time. Also a very solid time. Just a little bit too slow on this particular game. So we're going to have a decider. We are just waiting on readies here by both of our players. We're waiting for Dars to pop out. Looking and it for screwed him up. Okay. Well, uh... Looks like uh, Watchma has got himself set up. Dars needed to rehydrate a little bit. But uh, we are still waiting on him to tell us that he is ready to go. Got his uh, pill, uh, got his screen set up and back to the right spot. So now he is ready to go. And we're going to have our countdown. It's a three, two, one, go. And they're off. I love Watchma's board here. Uh, so many options and uh, everything supported and available. And, oh my goodness, it's great. Meanwhile, uh, <clears throat> Dar's starting off his level with a little bit of a horizontal combo. Uh, very nice clear there. And has set himself up for, I guess, the blue on the left is actually not a misplay uh, that was to uh, to get a clear on the blue and the red at the same time. Very interesting. Not a move that I necessarily would have thought about, but once I see it, I like it a lot. He is uh, a little bit behind coming in towards the end of level six here, though. About 10 viruses with Watchma just going going nuts here on his level six. He is going to need to uh, get another yellow-red, which he gets right then and there, uh, and opens up a combo. He's got two viruses stacked in that corner, which can be tricky uh, when you may be forced to play them both vertically. But a very uh, supportive combo there by, do by the Doctor. Uh, that gets him down to one, and now he can play it horizontally, too, and he will out at a minute 15. Excellent time. With Dars uh, battling with the uh, very heavy yellow and blue board that he's given, aiming for a fat log gives him a nice, uh, a nice way to play some red without the red becoming available. Very smart play there. And prioritizing the blue instead of the red, I think that's a uh, smart play at the moment. He's going to be finishing off his level 6 very shortly here. Looks like he's aiming at a horizontal clear. Uh, as long as he gets some yellow before he gets red, that works out. And so he'll be out at a 151. Watchma with a big combo setup. We're going to see it fire off very soon here. 
Dar is playing very fast and loose there uh, with some of those uh, tight quarter rotations, but getting a nice combo out of it and really starting to chip away uh, and setting up for some more combos here. I like that tuck play underneath. No drop time. Playing very quickly and efficiently here as he is almost completely wiped out the left half of his board. <laughs> wow, yeah, his board is a little bit unbalanced, huh? But then so is Watchmas as uh, the column eight there really looking unfortunate. Um, gonna have to be paying attention to that sooner rather than later, especially with that garbage on the top. Looks like uh, one option he has is to clear everything from below and completely ignore the garbage. Not sure whether that's his plan or not, but it is definitely an option that he has and definitely uh, aiming at clearing away that garbage from the top while he can. Makes a lot of sense. And maybe going for a D sandwich here gets the double blue that makes it possible. Awesome way wow. to play the level. And he's out at about a 306, but Darius has had a very good level seven as it stands right now. He's going to be out uh, just behind here at a 316, so he made up quite a bit of time on that seven. Uh, it's a, only a two virus deficit. Huge catch up for sure. Uh, Watchmo's getting some very nice tuck plays uh, in the middle of his board. If he gets another uh, red-blue, he'll be able to use it conveniently. Gets it a little bit just past when it was a, a useful thing to get, and so makes a different plan, but uh, now going to get a nice horizontal to uh, open up the left side of his board. Dar is having to play some combo tricks here to get uh, anything going here on this right side. Uh, 26 viruses to go as Watchma is just speeding through here, although he's a bit hung up on his left side. I would say a bit hung up there, yeah, and uh, was needing a ton of yellow support, but the doctor supplied a bunch of double yellows that basically got him out of jail free there, I'd say. Uh, now at the moment, the thing that he's dealing with is red everywhere, while Dars has a very nice uh, color color diversity situation going on in his board. A little bit of garbage, so not perfect board health, but definitely uh, something that we like to see. 11 viruses to go here for Dars on 8-3. Uh, now two for Watchman, just needing those reds to get out here. Uh, and Dars still is going to have to figure out a game plan uh, for that bottom right corner. But uh, just a handful of reds needed here. There's two and the third coming out at a five minute flat uh, for Watchma here as he goes into nine first. Wow. And uh, Dars with a very nice combo to open up the right side of his board, uh, bringing all of the uh, viruses balance at a count of zero at 518. Dars can really start, or excuse me, Watchman really needing some red. He could start chipping away. Uh, he's holding on to a 13 virus lead here, but now RNG not really favoring him. He's pretty much blocked all the way around by reds, uh, whether they're pill fragments or viruses, uh, to really start uh, clenching down and attacking this board. He's down to 24 here, and he's slowly chipping away at the reds, but this is affording time for Dars to come back. Definitely. And it's uh, especially unfortunate because uh, the thing that you want to do when you have uh, a, a big color problem like that is to play as efficiently as possible with the color that's missing. And just because of the, the order that pills came in, uh, Watchma was forced to play in a slightly inefficient way with his problem color. Uh, that, that cost him a little bit here, but he has opened things up now and actually is uh, at a six virus lead at the moment. Uh, with Dar's board uh, looking pretty good, maybe a, a misdrop with the uh, yellow red in column seven six. Uh, probably that was meant to go upside down to aim for a horizontal clear. He will probably still do a horizontal clear on that yellow half, just won't have a virus there to help him out with it. But Watchman's going to get two pills he needs in succession and is out at a 649. He's going to take the upset here, uh, taking down Dars in three games.
Dar's Dar's not finishes up here. Dar's out at a 7.05, but it will be game and match to Watchma as he advances, and he will be facing the winner of our... or not of our next match. He will be facing Sarah Sparkle uh, in round two later on today. 